Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial using my new Tom Ford eye palette. I bought this last week because I really wanted to get some Tom Ford things. Um, I've got one lipstick, but I haven't tried anything else from his brand, and it is all so beautiful. So I thought I would do a high-end makeup tutorial. As you guys know, I really like high-end makeup, so everything I use in this tutorial is going to be high-end. But I'll make sure that I give you guys alternatives if you aren't into buying high-end makeup. So this is the palette here. It is called the Eye Color Quad in Cognac Sable. Anyway, I'm going to do an eye look with this. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like it. And as always, I'm going to start out with the whole base. Um, because you guys seem to like it when I start out with no makeup on. So I'm going to use my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is my most highly rated primer that I've ever used and you can just get it from Mecca Maxima if you're in Australia or sorry not only Mecca Maxima any Mecca store or Sephora if you're in the US and if you're in the Europe I don't know where. Now I'm going to use my Chanel Matte Lumiere <laughs> shake it up and I haven't used this in ages oh no it still looks alright it's quite a thick foundation I'm just gonna dot it over my face Don't mind my cold sore remnant. Um, my skin is doing really well as you can see. Um, I've been using a new skincare. I'm definitely going to do a video on it because as you guys know I struggle with my skin. If you don't, I mean if you want to get a similar effect to this I really recommend using Bourjois Happy Light Matte Primer. And then a matte foundation maybe something like something like L'Oreal Nude Magique Eau de Ton. Has a really nice matte effect but it is a lot thinner than this foundation. With my brows I'm going to use the Lancome Le Crayon Sourcils in Chatain. Kind of lightly draw them in. Oop, I just tried to brush through my brows while it was still in the container. Oh, silly me. If you're looking for a good alternative for the brows, um, something that I actually think is pretty much the same product is the L'Oreal Paris Color Riche. As you can see, they like look the same because L'Oreal and Lancome are actually owned by the same company, L'Oreal. So moving on to eyes, I'm going to prime them with the Backstage Eye Prime from Christian Dior. Just pat that all over the lid. When you apply primer underneath your eye, don't be afraid to sort of drag it right down because then you'll be priming where your concealer goes under your eye and it's less likely to crease and sweat off under there. Now I'm quickly going to do this eye so I can come back and show you how to do it on this one. Okay, so as I said, I already primed and a good um, drugstore option are the Sigma primers. Now onto the palette. I wonder what would be a good alternative to this palette. I'm gonna find some good colors that you can get to replace these if you don't want to get this palette and I'll put them in the description box. Okay, so first I'm going to take the lightest shade of the palette on a flat shader brush and put it all over the first three quarters of the eyelid and the inner tear duct. Also under the brow. This is a gorgeous golden shimmery highlight shade really catches the light but it is actually the perfect color because it's really close to my actual skin color so there you have it now I'm taking a mid size blending brush this is the number eight from Ray Morris take the brown and use it to carve out the outer half of the socket of the eye I'm using really soft hands these colors are incredibly blendable, so I think you'd be hard pressed to sort of make a mistake and put too much on because they are pigmented, but they're quite soft shades, believe it or not. I mean, as you can see, I did put a lot of product on, but it doesn't look like that on that eye. Then take some more and run it under the eye. And I'm going to blend it down quite a lot, as you can see there. That's why I'm using the big brush still. As you can see, I'm connecting it to the outer corner there. Now with the beautiful glittery bronze shade, I'm going to take my brush and sort of sit it on an angle and start placing and pulling down on the skin a bit. 
not just patting like that because this sort of has to be wiped on. So sort of wipe it over the lid in a little angle and then get some more. Come from the other angle and carve up just underneath the crease. How freaking pretty is that color? Can't deal. So lovely. And for a sparkly eyeshadow, it sticks really well and adheres really well to the lid, which you would expect from a palette that cost $100. I'm going to take a little bit of that and just dust it there. Just taking a black eyeliner now, this is the Bobbi Brown Crayon Cajal in Noir. And you could use the NP Set black eyeliner that you can get from Target and I think Kmart and stuff. That's a good um, drugstore option. What I'm going to do is line this throughout the entire inner rim of my eye as well as the upper lash line. I'm also taking that through that inner rim, through that tear duct rim there, similar to what Penelope Cruz does. Now I've got this firm little brush here. This is the Shader E56 from the Sigma Performance Eyes Kit. I'm going to take this dark eggplant colour and I'm just carefully patting over the black to soften and smoke it up. also going to pat it into the lash line. So that's what the eye look looks like without mascara, but when you put mascara on it looks like that and it looks so pretty even if I do say so ooh, even if I do say so myself. Now I'm going to apply my YSL Baby Dolls mascara. I chose this mascara because it makes really fluffy looking lashes which I like when I've got a bit of a smoked out look. So I'm gonna use this one. So if you like, you can leave it at that, but I'm going to apply false lashes. I'm going to use Velour Lashes. These are a good high-end eyelash brand. They're made of mink, ethically sourced mink. Another good pair of lashes that are much more affordable are Ardell Wispies. They look really good with smoky eyes. There we go, eyes done. Now I'm going to use the Elizabeth Arden Flawless Correcting Highlighter Pen in number three, because it's um, quite dark and orangey so it's not going to act as like a highlight really more as just a concealer just wait for that to set just a sec and then take your blending brush without anything on it and just run it over the rim to make sure it's nice and soft because putting the concealer around there will make little lines with the brush so just make sure it's soft there we go eyes are all done I really love this eye makeup. It is a beautiful eye palette. I definitely recommend it. Moving on now, so onto the rest of the face. I am going to apply a blush now. I'm going to use the NARS Multiple in Napoli Coast. Just going to use my finger to pat that on. It's a really nice dusky pink color, and I like these because not that much. You know, you it's hard to sort of overdo it unless you like draw it on your face like wall paint. But if you just pat it on your cheeks, it's a really pretty flush and this will last you a lifetime. Good alternative to that is the Metal Glam Blush from Essence. This one is in the color Glam Me, but they do have others. So it's quite similar, but this one's much more light and peachy. Um, but they do have other colors that would give a similar sort of finish to the skin. Now I'm going to move on to bronzer. This is the Terracotta Four Seasons and I use the color 3 Natural Brunettes. And just circular motions, sculpt out the side of my face a bit. And up here. Not too much. Let's leave it at that. Now onto my lips and as you can see there's a nasty remnant of a cold sore. Um, that was from last week but for some reason it keeps splitting. So the sore is still there. Um, I'm going to use my the Chanel Le Crayon Lèvre, Lèvre, number 26. It's just a lip liner. 
and I'm going to colour in my lips with that as well. So if you want an alternative to that lip liner, a good alternative if you live in Europe at least is Kiko number 200 lip liner. Now I'm applying a lipstick, sorry it's Burberry, I'm getting out of hand here. It's um, number 23 English Rose. Okay, I think I'm done with the makeup look. What do you guys think? I really like the eyeshadow. So that's the end of this makeup look. I hope you guys liked this high-end tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!